I want to thank Gerald Nissan of Naperville for making this review possible. Gerald Nissan of Naperville is the only Nissan dealer in the Chicagoland area to offer a lifetime powertrain warranty on their engines and transmissions in the vehicles they sell. Check out their award-winning showroom and browse from over a thousand new and used cars at www.geraldnissannaperville.com. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2020 Nissan Sentra. Up front is a 2.0 liter inline 4 and down below is a CVT. Guys, I am super excited to be driving the new Sentra because look at it. It has been freshly redesigned and it looks hot. It looks amazing. I picked out this orange color because I said, man, I have to drive that orange. It looks so good. And so let's see if the looks match up with the rest of the vehicle. So let's get back to that 2.0 liter inline four. Well, it makes 149 horsepower, 146 foot pounds of torque, but that's not the impressive part. The impressive part is the fact that it gets you 28 miles to the gallon in the city, 37 miles to the gallon on the highway, 37 miles to the gallon. That is absolutely amazing and something I would definitely, definitely be happy with if I were to pick a car up like this. 37 miles to the gallon in the highway. I mean, that is great, great numbers. All right, uh, acceleration for the 2.0 liter. Nah. Like I said, paired to it is a CVT. It means continuously variable transmission. And while historically I haven't been a big fan of CVTs, it's pretty commonplace these days. It is what it is. Most cars come with CVTs, whether you like it or not. That's just the way the world's going. This CVT isn't bad. I don't notice any weird pop squeaks or beeps from the transmission, and that's really all I can ask for. Last but not least, of course, the Sentra is front wheel drive. There is no all wheel drive offered, which I think is kind of a misstep by Nissan. However, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So let's talk about the interior. We have quite a bit to go through here in the new Sentra. In front of me on the left, I have my tachometer with my coolant temperature down at the bottom. And on the right, I have my speedometer with fuel down at the bottom. In the center, I do get a nice screen. I'll cycle through all of the information it can give you. It can give you quite a bit of information. I really like that. I love the quality of the screen. I think it looks great. I think it has a high quality feel. And as we'll talk about a little bit later on, it actually mimics the center screen of the vehicle, which I really, really like. But I love the contrasting colors of blue and orange. Go fighting Illini. I think it just, I, I, I think it overall looks really great. And I'm really, really impressed with it. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my options for that center screen, left, right, up, down, okay, back, and my volume controls. And then on the right, I have my cruise control options, phone, and voice commands. The actual steering wheel itself looks great. It feels great in my hand. It has this orange stitching, which is gonna be a theme throughout the rest of the car. And I really, really like that. To the left of me, I have my eco button, as well as my gauge dimmer switches, trip reset, and my trunk release. Then on the door, I have my power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. Nothing really too interesting over there. Now moving into the center is that center screen I was talking about earlier. It is a touch screen, which is very, very nice. And it sort of mimics the screen found in the gauge. It has the same sort of color layout, same sort of icons for everything. And honestly, I feel like this is the first time I've seen this in a modern car where the screen in the gauges actually looks the exact same as the screen in the center of the car. Now you might think this is such a small thing, but I love the feeling of congruency. It feels like these two screens were meant to be together. Isn't that so sweet? Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are offered in the Sentra, which is very, very nice. I don't think I'll ever buy a vehicle without Apple CarPlay ever again. It's just, it's just the best. It really, really, truly is the best. Down below the screen, I have a bunch of different buttons for the actual screen itself. Brightness, skip track, audio, menu, phone, camera, and back. My camera button is actually for my camera settings. I can't actually just toggle my camera on whenever I want. I wish it were that way, but it's not. I like these buttons. I love tactile buttons when there is a screen present in a car. And so these buttons sort of fill my need for that. Down below those buttons, I have three vents. They work really well. You can position them however you want. They're very symmetrical. They're very pleasing to the eye. I like that a lot. And then down below that are the climate controls, dual zone, which is very nice for a vehicle this size, fan controls, rear to frost, front to frost, you know, recirculating, all that stuff. I do have auto climate as well, which is very nice. Solid features for a vehicle like this. 
Then I have a little cubby hole as well as two USB ins, one of which is USB-C, one is traditional USB, and then my aux in, and I have this nice little place to set my phone. Really, really like this because it's right in front of the USB and aux port. So if I'm plugging it into the center screen, just gonna sit right there. I don't need an eight foot cord in order to plug in. Then we have the engine start stop button. I think it looks great. It's positioned really well. Then the shifter itself, again, gets the orange stitching like the steering wheel, like the dashboard, like the seats. And so I love that consistency throughout the interior with that orange stitching. Center console gets the stitching as well. Nothing in here. There's no USB ports, no lights, no nothing. It's just a giant tub, essentially. And then moving on to the seats. Now these seats are manual seats. However, you can upgrade your Sentra to have power seats and heated seats. Also a heated steering wheel I forgot to mention, but heated and power seats are an option on the Sentra and they make this sort of quilted tan interior for some Sentras. Please seek that out. It looks amazing. It looks so flipping good. You would think you're in a Maybach, but you're actually, you're in a Sentra. You're not in a Rolls Royce, you're in a Sentra with those seats. I love those seats. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats, so let's do the back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2020 Nissan Sentra. Legroom is actually great. This is my driving position. My knees actually aren't hitting the front seat, which is very hard to say for vehicles in this segment. The seats aren't the comfiest things in the world. They're a little bit hard. However, they do get the orange stitching from the front as well as fold down cup holders, center console here. And I actually do get one single USB charger in the very back here for your rear occupants. That's a nice feature that my Mazda 3 does not have. So taking a look at the trunk now, um, nothing really too crazy in here. Of course we have the floor mats and stuff. This is a brand new car. No outlets it seems, but pretty nice space. Not too bad. Now we have to talk about the looks. Like I said earlier, I love the look of the Sentra. I think it looks amazing. The redesign is spot on, it's aggressive. The wheels are great, the color's great, the shapes are great. I love the whole thing. The only thing I don't like about the look of it is that it looks identical to the Versa and it looks identical to the Maxima and the Ultima. They all look exactly the same now, which is a little hard to differentiate. However, that's not a bad thing. They're all really, really good looking now. I think Nissan has a really strong design language for their sedans, and I like it. And of course, dude, you can't beat this orange color. It looks so good. It reminds me of the launched Nissan 350Z color from yesteryear, way back in like, what, 2003, 2004? Absolutely love it. And so my final thoughts on the Sentra are the only thing I really see wrong with this car is the fact that it does not have all-wheel drive offered. Now, last month I bought a Mazda 3 hatchback with all-wheel drive, and that was why I went with that car, was because it had all-wheel drive. Here in Chicago, all-wheel drive isn't a necessity, but it definitely gives you a better peace of mind. And I wish that they offered the Sentra here in all-wheel drive, just to give you a better peace of mind. Plus, it's priced very similarly to the Mazda 3. Mazda 3 is a direct competitor to this vehicle. But besides that, if you can live with no all-wheel drive, seriously, seriously consider the Sentra. I think the technology in here is great, and this isn't even the technology package. It has radar cruise control, pre-collision warning, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, all of these great, great, great safety features, priced pretty inexpensively. I don't know if cars are just getting so good these days, but I really find it hard to complain about new cars. This is a very inexpensive car and you get so much for your money. Is there some room for improvement? Always, with any car, always. But this is really truly a great, great car. Not only just in value, but just to own. If I owned this car, I would smile when I opened the garage. I would smile when I walked out into the driveway. And I can't say that about the outgoing generation. I hated the outgoing generation of Nissan Sentra. The 2018 that I drove was miserable, but this, this is far from miserable. I really, really like it. If you are between a 2018 or a 2020 Nissan Sentra, you can make both of them work financially, go with the 2020. Far and away, go with the 2020. If the 2018 Nissan Sentra is in New York, this car is on a sunny beach in Los Angeles. Day and night difference between these two cars, and I absolutely love this new Sentra. I really do. I, I, I really do love this car.
No two ways about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Gerald Nissan for letting me take out their 2020 Sentra. This thing is absolutely awesome. They have tons of these on the lot in all shapes, colors, and sizes. They will find the right Nissan for you. And if not, they even have a used car selection. They're part of the Gerald Group. I've been working with them for quite some time. They're absolutely awesome. Great customer service and just through and through, just great dealerships. So their information is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe through the like. Take care, guys. <laughs>